Hello folks, this is Royce. Welcome to our channel, Sensiverio 101. Where uh, today we will be uh, discussing the species uh, of Brigiana and how do we know if we really have um, the species uh, Sensiveria of Brigiana. So uh, all you have to do is to ask yourself if you really have an Albrechtiana with you because uh, you might have uh, the species Longiflora or the uh, other species Grandis uh, var uh, variety Suluensis, which are commonly mistaken as uh, Sensiveria Albrechtiana. So um, the one that you uh, see beside me is the uh, Sensiveria Albrechtiana and we will be discussing everything about it. So, uh, here we go, guys. Okay, so what we have here is a large clump of the Sansevieria abritiana. As you can see, it's quite tall. You see the inflorescence de um, there. Uh, we have three uh, flower stalks coming from the uh, Sansevieria abritiana. So there you notice that from the base to the top of the stalk, um, there will be flower clusters. Uh, the flowers already fell off because um, they're way past time their uh, their uh, fertility for uh, pollination so there you go no extension blank part from the base of the stalk to the top all right so you don't see any blank space on there from the base they start to grow the uh, clusters for the uh, the flowers and what you have on here, I have successfully pollinated. There. I'm sorry for uh, the quality of the picture. I have about three fruits from uh, this flower stock of uh, Sansevieria of Richiana. I had more, but uh, for some reason, some of them uh, fell off. So I just... I'm just left with uh, around three of them. They're already cross-pollinated with uh, another species of uh, Sansevieria. All right, we have another uh, specimen here of Sansevieria albrechtiana. Uh, we're going to uh, get some uh, metrics on the uh, width of the uh, leaf or leaves of the Sansevieria albrechtiana. Hold on, let me get my uh, measuring equipment. Alright, so you can see there it's uh, set, set in uh, inch, inches. It's already in uh, one inch now. We're, try we're going to try and measure the whole uh, leaf uh, width of it. Mostly I would say uh, it would be around 4 inch or so okay 39 4 4.5 uh, 4.7 4.8 4.8 guys all right so that's how why the uh sensibility of Brittiana leaves can uh, grow okay so we're done with the width of the uh, leaves uh, we're going to measure the height of this uh, specimen so what i have here is uh, a 24 inch ruler and i'm going to uh, place it at the uh, base of the the plant here all right so you can see from there Sorry for the uh, picture uh, video quality. Right, 24 inch by by that part, and then I think about about uh, 12 more inch. It's about uh, as tall as three uh, three feet or so. 
Here is uh, one of the uh, younger pups of the uh, Sensiberia Albertiana. Alright, so as you can see there, even the pup is more than 2 feet. That's more than 24 inch. Alright. Alright, so for uh, further size comparison, I'm going to... I'm going to have to ask uh, Andres to uh, stand before or beside the uh, Sensiviria of Britiana. All right, Andres, please go over there. Over there. Yeah, that's it. Uh, come closer. There you go. All right. So, Andres, smile for for everyone. Smile, smile. Uh, okay. That's it. All right. So, there you go, guys. Um, that's how tall the uh, Sensiviria of Britiana uh, species is. Um, Andreas is um, at most over um, over uh, five feet uh, tall, uh, some uh, inch. Where the little guys here, um, uh, it's been uh, assisting me in uh, taking care of the the, the plants, like uh, Bruce Wayne. If Bruce Wayne has Alfred, I have Andreas. Okay, so that's it, guys. If you uh, like what you see, please. Uh, Hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching.